All right, so welcome back, and this month is actually something different. It's a right-hand wing. It's a lower right-hand wing with a mock-up of the aileron, the style that the guy had on the plane, uh, as opposed to a flybaby style with the aileron hinge. And I was thinking about keeping it more like a flybaby, but because of the way these end strut brackets are mounted to these hardwood blocks, I'd have to build up like a full length standoff so that the hinge, when I mount the hinge to it, would clear the uh, that bracket, if, if I can stay in focus here. So um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna stick with the hinges that he had, kind of like a cub style um, aileron. This is obviously serious mock-up going on. This is one of the original little closeouts, just so I can see how much clearance I have up in there. Um, and I'll trim mine back if need be to, to get the most clearance. But um, this here is at 20 degrees down. There's my little protractor mounted to this little aileron spar. Um, I got all the push-pull tubes installed compression tubes installed, the uh, cross bracing wires installed all except the root rib. Now when the guy built this, he had like 25 and a half inches between station three and five in the fuselage instead of the 27 inches. So he had a giant block right here, block of wood. And in the plane, he had a block of wood on the opposite side so it made up that inch and a half difference and this compression strut was much shorter as I it was like more like that so what I had to do is cut it and I'm gonna splice it splice a uh, tube on there weld the tube in place to give me the length I need and uh, so that's that um, so, yeah, aileron, whoops, too much brightness coming in from outside. I thought I had the garage door shut more. So, pulling the push-pull tubes, you know, up and down. And that's my protractor showing me 20 degrees down. So, I'm going to stick to this style aileron. Um, what else? Oh, I'm not going to drill up for the upper wing. I just took the, uh, this is the old spar off the uh, lower right hand wing. All I did was, was match drill the mounting holes to the new spars. But I'm not going to do that yet because I believe it was the left hand, lower left hand wing. The gap between the root rib and the fuselage kind of tapered funny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the fuselage, put it up on the table, then I'm going to take this, well, I'll have this wing moved, obviously, but I'm going to take this wing and mount it to the side of the fuselage where it goes, get the um, nine degree angle swept back proper. I'm going to have this pinned into the fuselage station three and five, and then I can mark where these go, to keep the proper gap between the fuselage and the root rib, and then I'll drill these up. So, yeah, I have gotten um, a lot more done uh, in a short period of time this month. I, I did get to do some flying in the RANS uh, last week. Um, I, I thought I was taking a video while I was flying. It turned out to be just a still picture. So, no video of me flying the RANS. But this is coming along. Obviously, the second wing. Um, then I'll work on probably the lower left hand and then knock out the upper left hand. Um, hopefully, all next month. So, thanks for watching. Be safe in the air or whatever you do.